We're, we're starting. I have it up already, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> Michael Jackson, some blanket, because we don't know blanket's real name. Um, At least they never say the real name. Michael Jackson's youngest son, Blanket Jackson, born Prince Michael Jackson Jr. Okay, there we go. Prince Michael Jackson. Girl, they always call the man blanket. I don't remember. All I know is when I see him, the nigga looks sleepy. His name is blanket. Don't look nothing like Michael Jackson. Actual DNA, genetical makeup at fucking all but we're gonna continue we respect it because at the end look michael said them his kids them his kids okay prince michael jackson the second is taking his grandmother to court over his dad's estate the rift between the 22 year old and katherine jackson centers around the legal fees she's racked up trying to stop the executors of michael jackson's estate from going through with a major business venture as previously reported, the deal's details have been kept under wraps. However, it's highly speculated that it has something to do with the reported $600 million agreement the estate made with Sony to sell roughly half, you heard me, half of Michael Jackson's music catalog. Initially, Blanket Jackson and his 93-year-old grandmother teamed up to legally fight the secret deal. Unfortunately, for the family members, it's assumed they lost whatever they were battling as reports surfaced in February that Sony finalized the hefty music purchase. Blanket Jackson was ready to take the L and keep pushing. However, Katherine Jackson filed an appeal, which is what has her grandson having an issue. OK, purportedly. Blanket also argues that continuing the legal battle would not benefit the trust beneficiaries, including himself, and could pot, I'm sorry, and could depreciate its value with expensive legal bills. Okay. Allegedly, Catherine receives a seven-figure allowance a year from the estate. And Blanket seemingly believes she should use her own funds to pay her attorneys. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't trust that if Michael's money would have been left in the hands of his family, it would be where it is. Um, I don't even know what's going on with Whitney Houston's estate. Like what happened there? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it often feels like, you know, other people are always in charge of some rich person's money when they are dead. I don't know who it is, <laughs> but it's never really their family for whatever reason. Okay. They, the, the, his family, Michael's family, the children are beneficiaries, but it seems as if they don't really have a say. So the people who own Michael's estate, the executors of his estate decided to sell half of his music catalog. If it was for $600 million, I feel like that was a low blow. I'm not going to lie to y'all. If they only sold half of this man's catalog for $600 million, that's not enough money. I'm sorry. That's not enough money. I, you would have had to pay the, I, I, I would feel, I would feel like it was probably worth $1 billion. And the reason why I say that is because not only are we talking about Michael Jackson's actual catalog, which is extremely extensive, um, when you think about music he's written, his songs, I mean, he really, he had like, what, a good five, six albums, I believe. Then we don't know if that includes Jackson 5 music as well. Either way, the way people make money off of their music is insane. Like Michael Jackson's music gets sampled a lot. It gets used in movies and commercials. Like it, it gets used constantly all over the place. Even though 600 million is a lot of money, when I think about how much when i think about how big michael's family is having to support the estate i feel like 600 million dollars is not enough for how much money is going to be made off of half of his catalog he's still relevant it's insane he's been dead for what 12 years now it what, what was it 2012 20 i think it was 2012 2013 when he passed away and he had six solo albums Okay, so almost, yeah, y'all, I don't know. I mean, and listen, I ain't nobody. I ain't nobody. I'm sure that them people fought tooth and nail. But the first thing I thought about was only 600 million? <laughs> 2009, my bad, my bad. 
Who died in 20, uh, 12, 2013? Y'all, people been dying so much recently. Who died in 2012? Was it Whitney Houston that died in 2012, 2013? It was Whitney Houston, huh? Or was she 2015? Girl, I, I'm telling you, ever since the pandemic, I can't keep my years in. <laughs> Girl, I can't keep my years together. It was Whitney that passed in 2012. Okay, thank you. And y'all know how, like, child, the way them people be in my head, okay? Um, No, it wasn't Prince. I think Prince, Prince's has been, like, later, right? Oh, girl. You see what I'm saying? I, I, it was Whitney. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I agree. 600 million is a lot to us regular folk, but to Michael Jackson, that's a low ball. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Like, I get it. I know I'm, I'm nobody. I mean, not, you know, listen. But from what I understand about how much money is actually made off of Michael Jackson's music catalog, I fit and then to think about like how that money has to take care of the rest of his estate, the kids, 600, you know, for years, $600 million is not enough money. I honestly feel like not only would you have to, like, I would still have to get something off of it, like off the, off the back end. I was, I would feel like I would still have to get some type of percentage, some type of check on a, a, a quarterly basis based off of the back end of what's made off of my, off of all my music. I'm really thinking that Michael Jackson shit is is really worth about two. His whole catalog, I'm going to say in my mind, I will probably put it at about two to three billion dollars when I think about it. Somebody go look up how much fucking money he's made somebody. Elvis estate is worth 600 million. I don't know. I don't know. I understand that. And I understand that they're both famous and, you know, that's great. But I don't want to compare those things. <laughs> um, MJ also owned the Beatles cat. Right. Right. He said, right. Oh, I forgot about that. See, yeah, it's just so much involved in this, y'all. I am no expert on it, but just in my humble, okay, YouTube commentator opinion, I feel like I'm kind of on blanket side. Google says 2.4 billion. So I was about right if, if Google's right, child. But that's what I was guessing when I really like think about it. Like I was like, it's just worth kind of like billions. Like that's just worth a lot more money than that when you think about like, especially over the span of years, how his music continues to be reused and, um, you know, just put in different spaces over and over again. They're continuing to eat off of songs that came out years ago. Um yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson used to just be buying people's catalogs for fun. Like, he, he was so paid during his lifetime that he really did invest well, which is why, you know, it's still worth what it's worth, which is why I understand his mother's feelings. But I also feel like I agree with the son. I agree with Blanket. I think that when they decided collectively, it is no longer advantageous for us to continue to legally fight this situation. It's happened. It's over. Let's not spend more money on the appeal. And 80 something year old grandmother decides she still wants to do that. Then I feel like it should come out of her seven figure check that she gets on a, on a yearly basis. Honestly, I agree. I agree with blanket on this one. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I agree with Blanket. Seems like what's, what's in the best interest um, of the estate is not to continue to spend money on frivolous lawsuits. It's frivolous at this point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>